opening with the queen's pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. c4 builds a strong center by controlling the important d5 square and creates a square for the knight to come to c3 without blocking the c-pawn. The king's Indian defense prepares to develop the bishop to g7, allowing white to build up a strong center which black will later try to undermine. And c3 prepares the e2-e4 pawn push and helps control the d5 square. Bg7 puts the bishop on the long diagonal in a move called a fianchetto. e4 takes full control of the center. d6 controls the e5 square and allows the light squared bishop to develop. Nf3 supports the d4 pawn and puts pressure on the e5 square. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. B2 develops the light squared bishop and prepares to castle king side. E5 takes space in the center and immediately attacks the d4 pawn. Castling gets the king out of the center and activates the rook. And C6 develops the knight, defends the e5 pawn and attacks the d4 pawn. D5 takes space in the center, attacks the knight on C6 and controls the e6 square. NE7 retreats the knight to a square where it will help with the f7 f5 pawn push, after black moves the f6 knight. B4 takes space on the queen side and controls the c5 square. NE8 allows the f7 pawn to advance and overprotects the c7 pawn. Master Games It is the last book move. This overlooks an opportunity to kick a knight. It is an inaccuracy. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. This misses an opportunity to kick a knight. It is a mistake. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. It is best. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. This threatens to win a knight. It is best. This permits the opponent to capture the checking knight. It is an inaccuracy. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This is the only good move. It is a great move. A solid choice. It is excellent. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. This wins a tempo by threatening a bishop and forcing it to move away. It is best. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is best. That's fine. It is good. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This ignores an opportunity to kick a bishop. It is a mistake. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. That's not a mistake, but it's not the best move either. It is good. Very precise. It is best. The game was close to equal but now white has the advantage. It is an inaccuracy. Right on target. It is best. This threatens to win a pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This develops a queen off its starting square, getting it into the action. This prevents the opponent from being able to win a pawn. It is good. This is a fair move. It is good. That's a sensible reply. It is excellent. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. It is best. This is the strongest option. It is best. That's fine. It is good. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. This threatens to fork pieces. It is good. This gives away a free pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This misses an opportunity to capture a free pawn. It is a miss. That's what I would have recommended. It is best. White had an advantage, but now the game is close to equal. It is a mistake.